this is as bad as the traffic gets in Monsanto following a little tractor <laughs> thingy and I've got a tractor behind me as well. Please don't laugh. <laughs> Doing this job, taking the render off the walls, is such a messy job. It really is. And every time I do it, I have to wash my hair. And that's not really good for my hair because it, it's drying it out a lot, having to keep washing it. So I remembered that I had this like towel drying thing that I had in my van. So I have decided to wear this. <laughs> while I do the work. <laughs> After I've taken the top render off, so this part of it, and I get to the stones underneath, well, the stones that are then covered in clay. So this is how it looks when they're all more or less covered in clay. And then here is where I've already stripped some of the clay out. But I'm actually really enjoying this process of um, getting the clay out from between the rocks because you know it, it it shows you where the rocks are and it's like bringing something back to life again so you get to see me in my funny hat again <laughs> uh, it's working very well actually uh, yes as I was saying and actually I always I thought that if I was to cho choose another profession um, go back in time I guess and choose another profession I always was interested in archaeology and uh, so this is like really fulfilling uh, something actually it's quite nice because who knows what I'm going to find in these old walls. I have been cleaning up this wall now just taking out all the loose clay from in between the stones so that we can now see the definition of of the stones I need to do a lot more cleaning on here because you can see that the faces are still covered in clay. But yeah, it's even though it's looking nice now. And now I've done the area that I can reach from below and this top area I need to get the scaffold out for. So yeah, and to scrape the paint off the top there as well. So next job is scaffold. This morning, it is actually pretty chilly. <laughs> it's 9.30 and as you can see, there is a lot of cloud around in the sky behind me. And I have to admit, at first when I saw it, I wondered if there was a fire um, near because you have probably seen on the news that Portugal at the moment is experiencing a lot of wild flowers. It would be nice if they were wild flowers. Wildfires in this area of central Portugal and in northern Portugal. Fortunately, I have been I am about an hour from the nearest fire which was in the Fundown area and I happened to be there on Friday at the dentist 
And as I came out the dentist, I saw the news saying there was a fire there. And then I went outside to take a look and um, I needed to go to do some shopping. And from the supermarket car park, there was this huge, like, um, cloud of smoke in the air and I really just wanted to leave that area as quickly as possible because my route out of there is all on small little windy roads around the mountainside and I didn't want my path to be blocked but it was actually on the other side the fire was on the other side of where I was going so all was all was well but I don't feel anxious here because well, one of the reasons is because the locals say that this area seems to do well in that there hasn't been fires here, touch wood, <laughs> for a long time. And I think that's mainly because where we are, it's uh, on, on like a, a big plain and then the mountains are kind of all, all around. So if there are, if there is an incident here, the Bomberash can put it out pretty quickly. So that's the theory anyway. But of course, it's a it's a worrying time for for many here in in Portugal. I need to put my scaffold together, and I bought this um, aluminium. Uh, scaffolding when I well first bought my my other house in Maria and I tell you it's a really good buy most people here in Portugal use the the metal scaffold towers but these ones are really light and I have wheels on the bottom so I can move them around and yeah I don't need two people don't need two people to do it either. If I drop it down, yeah, okay. This is not really how you're supposed to put it together, but I can put another supporting bar at the top, so it's okay. As long as it's, I'm not building it very high, so. Um, So just that makes it pretty stable. So what I can actually do is um, put this one across the top. Oh, so this is the long one, I need the short one. So this one, let's go up here. Hi. 
perfect. And then actually, I'm supposed to put another one on the other side to block it and get it more rigid. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Scaffolding finished. <laughs> it should be easy. I haven't put it together for a while, so, um, but I got there. Yesterday morning, I had a surprise. My friend Fernando turned up on my doorstep <laughs> with a present for me. And it was something that I had been talking about with him helping me to go and pick up. And um, yeah, so. saying hello I thought <laughs> so uh yeah when he turned up with this on my doorstep um it was very nice I mean most women they you know would like to maybe receive well I would I like receiving flowers for example too I like receiving flowers um uh <laughs> but or chocolates or, or whatever but um yeah so I'm going to turn around so you can see so he turned up with an IBC tank for me because I want to fill these up with the, the winter rains and uh, then I'll have a way of watering this back field here much better next summer so I'm going to I've got uh, another one as well coming and yeah then I'm going to rig up some kind of uh, well a pipe <laughs> to go from my plunge pool which will be reutilized as the water storage tank during the winter to collect the water and then I will basically siphon it out into these big IBC tanks. Today I am going to do some work on my windows because although I put a um, clear protective stain on them before this time well this time last year they with all the sun that beats down on them these bits here particularly these bits um yeah um it's basically all just come off so what i've decided to do is to strip the rest of it off put linseed oil on instead and then put beeswax over the top the side bits aren't too bad, although there is cracking in the wood. So I think I'm probably just going to do, yeah, I need to rub these, these bits down too and do the same. I have put on linseed oil onto the wood, but now there's a lot of discoloration with the wood. So I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to get a uh, colour wood protector stain, I guess. It's a stain and protector to put on the wood um, because, well, it looks aged now, I think. But I think it needs some added protection still. With my front door, I have decided to protect this part here because at the moment when it rains, the water comes in here and then runs down. Um, and you can see that it's affected all this part of the door here. But I thought what would help is if I put on this piece of beading. Um, 
to go across the bottom of the door here. I mean, really, it's not a very good design because of this. Maybe I actually also need to put, actually look, I could put some beading down the channels there as well. I think that is going to, oh, it goes up there quite nicely. I think that's gonna be a good idea to do that. Let me give it a go. So I'm pretty pleased with myself because, so this, this piece of wood um, fit perfectly into this space here, but on the other pieces, they're narrower. So what I've done, I've had to chisel or cut like a groove in the top of the wood. So then that then slots up un underneath there so that it will go in there and stay there. And then I just need to cut a little bit off the bottom now so it fits in the bottom. So yeah, I'm pleased with myself about doing that. Okay, I'm just going to put glue. Oh, no, not like that. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse my leg. Be up, I guess. I'm not used to using this wood glue. I can see that you don't need so much. Um, okay, let me try. Mm. Let's see. It's not that as easy as it looks. Okay, so now ooh, I'm gonna push that one into there and then look, put it in here. Oh, now there is a slight problem with it. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, er. <laughs> Don't know how strong this wood glue is. Mm, I'm not sure it's going to be strong enough. Hold it. I have to use my foot as well. <laughs> you. I think it's going to need some nails going through it as well. So, oh, ooh, gosh. Yeah, I think it definitely is going to need some nails. Okay. I have some nails. I'll find them. Okay, so I'm hoping. This little, these little nails are going to be long enough. Well, he, up there is okay. It's here. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I have marked where I need to cut out, but I think I need a little pen knife, like a wood pen knife to be able to do this job well, because really I want to kind of make a half semicircle and all I've got is kind of a little saw, which would be much too difficult. So I'm gonna to wait to do that job properly when I've got the right equipment. But at least I've got these uprights in place. 
school has brought me a leaf. You can see it just there on the floor. He's very happy about it, as you can see. My vegetable area is looking a little bit in disarray. Everything has gone to seed. I've still got some cosmos that are, f are flowering here. I planted this these uh, later than the other ones. So yes, I've got some nice cosmos flowers still. And uh, this, oh, it smells so good. Uh, oh no, what? <laughs> um, rosemary, yes. Ah, smells really good when I touch it and smell my hands. And actually, look, I still have some strawberries here having a, another go, which is nice. Yeah, a few more coming there. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, do some uh, tidying up here. So for now, I have just basically pulled out the weeds and I'm leaving it on the top here so that it all mulches in to the soil, puts the nutrients back into the soil. And then when I, yeah, when it's done that, I will water it as well. And then I will dig it all over and prepare it for... Well, I guess next year's, <laughs> for, for next year's vegetables. Well, when I say vegetables, I really mean salad because this area here is just a very small area. It's good for growing tomatoes and lettuces. And I think I'm going to grow some uh, cucumbers here as well next year and some small tomatoes because I, I actually prefer those to the big tomatoes and and some flowers because I really do love the cosmos here as well and it's really lovely to have the flowers mixed in around the salad and I really would like to grow some other vegetables in the um, in the back field but it's all going to be dependent on whether I can get some kind of irrigation system set up down there in time. I will probably dig a couple of areas down there. Like once the rains start coming here and the ground softens up, then I will, I think, make a couple of areas down there, put some big stones around it. So kind of in preparation for me putting in some irrigation because that way I've made the first little step to doing it rather than waiting for the irrigation and then doing it. So at least then I'm actually making some progress and some steps forward to um, achieving uh, that down there. I'm just taking the final pieces of render off from the wall and this particular part is got concrete in it so it's it's a bit difficult to take it out but i'll manage and actually this here now is so this is what the wall looks like after i take the render off with all the clay still on top and then if i move down here you can see the difference on the stones where i've actually cleaned 
more of the clay out of the stones. So yeah, render off first, finish that, and then I can clean all of this clay out of here. Okay, so this wall, I've taken the render off and still needs a lot of cleaning, but yeah, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Next week, I hope to have it all nicely cleaned up and I've actually decided to render this back wall as well because it was getting really hard taking off this paint. So I've just decided that I'm going to render it. It's going to be a lot easier and quicker. It's the end of the week and I've just finished working in the old stone kitchen and yeah, now's time just to relax a little bit. And I just wanted to talk about the my subscribers, <laughs> you guys out there. Uh, well, not all of you guys out there, only like half of you people out there <laughs> who watch my channel. And thank you so much for being here and watching. And I hope you've made it to the very end. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have a special plea this week because I'm not really sure what's been happening on YouTube um, because my subscriber count keeps, well, it's not dropping, but it's going up very, very slowly. Um, and I'm going to put the figures on the screen now so that I don't get the numbers wrong and I can actually read them here. But like in the last um since the last time I did it which is about two weeks ago uh I have only now got seven more subscribers than I did like two weeks ago which is very strange and what's been happening is it's like it goes up and then it drops a lot and I think this is to do with YouTube clearing out people that it believes are no longer interested in my channel. So please do check that you are subscribed if you think you're already a subscriber. And if you're not, please, 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 please <laughs> become a subscriber for me. It would be so amazing. I'm trying to hit this, well, on the screen, the 10,000, the 10,000 uh, number. And uh, yeah, it's a very, it's a very slow process and I am having to stay very patient with it and um yeah but you can really help me by just clicking that little well you'll see it if you're watching on the television you have the little image of me I think it's on the bottom right hand side and you can pause the video and then you, well, the way I do it, or you pause the video, press the up key, and then go over to that little icon and just press OK on that icon. And, and that will uh, subscribe you to my channel. And yeah, on the other, on the other scale of things with the number of my, of trying to get to 1 million views on my channel by the end of the year, that's progressing nicely. And as you can see, I now have, 826,318 <laughs> views. So that's absolutely amazing. So thank you to you all for being here and viewing my videos. And I hope that you enjoyed this week and all the work that I've been doing and things are going along nicely in the old kitchen. And uh, yeah, I think next week um, there could be some bigger changes, I'm hoping. So don't forget to tune in next Sunday. Have a great week. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye for now.
they have just put the beautiful horses into the field here. School, school. 